Hey, pretty girls, this is Say Welcome to the Pretty Girls Club. If you know, hit the subscribe button. If you're not, hey, girl, hey, we're about to go and make some beaded bracelets. So right now, I'm just showing you all my bead board that I got from Michaels. You can get it from Amazon, Hobby Lobby, anywhere. And that is just the elastic that I'm using today. I don't have a specific brand that I like. I just try to get different brands. I want to be honest, I do like this brand. It's pretty thick and it's stretchy. And those are the beads that we're going to be using. I believe these are about 8 mm to 10 mm beads. Perfect for my style of bracelet. I do not like the beads super, super small. So right here, I'm going to just go in and get all the beads together. And we're going to be using a the 17 cm, which is about the average size. Now right here, y'all, I tried to be aesthetic and use like the little thing, but it wasn't working. So I was like, you know what? Let me just stick to what I know and, and use my hands. So um, right here, you're going to just see me fill in the beads. Now I did this for the video purposes only, but I had it memorized. I needed 18 beads to have a 17 cm wrist, but you know, you will learn how many beads you will need as you practice more and more. So yeah, right now I'm just filling up the board. Make sure you kind of fill up the entire board with the beads. As you all see right here, every single inch is covered and we're about to get to threading. So I'm going to first show you all this, the single thread method when you just use one piece of string and you just string it regularly. And then towards, and then towards the end of the video, I will show you the double strand method. Both methods for me pretty works really well. Um, the holes in these are very, very big. So it was easy for me to just thread these with my hands. And you're going to watch me thread the beads now. And then I will see y'all when I am done. Okay, so I am back. So now I am done and I'm going to just cut the string. Make sure you leave enough excess so you can kind of tie up comfortably. Y'all, trust me, I've cut the string so short so many times, but make sure you cut enough. And I'm going to just tie it up regularly like I'm tying a knot. But the only thing I would say is I will bring the loop around two times. So as you all can see, they go once. And then I want to bring it again, right around again. They go twice and then pull. And then the other knots, I just do a single, a single thread. I don't know how to explain it, but hopefully y'all can kind of see what I just did right there. And then after I tie it up nice and securely, I give it a good pull. And then um, I go and grab some glue and I just put a little dab of glue on it. You can just use any kind of glue. I use nail glue, jewelry glue, any type of glue. Okay, guys, E6000 glue, any type of glue. Just put a little dab on the dot. And then once you put that on there, just cut off the string, but don't cut too close to the, do not cut too close to the um knot. And then just put the bead on top of that. Sometimes this works if the hole is big enough. Sometimes it don't. But because the holes was big enough for that one, I was able to cover the knot with the bead. And boom, there goes the finished product right there. Super, super cute. And I just put a few on to just show y'all the fit. Again, I feel like I'm an average size wrist. But of course, if you have customers that are plus size and request plus size, then of course you have to make them bigger. But for the most part, a 17 centimeter is good enough for the average American. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you all the double strand method um, really, really quickly. All you got to do is just get enough string, y'all. I'm going to be honest. I did not cut enough string off. But all you do now is just put the ends to the one side. And then, as you all see, I have both of the ends on one side. And I just put my pinky through the other side. That way the beads don't fall. And then you literally just strand the beads like regular. But you're going to make sure both of the pieces of string goes through each hole. And as y'all will see... It will come down just like that. This works really well when you have the hole big enough. If the hole in your bead is a little bit smaller, it'll be obviously too hard to do the double strand method. But if you have like 8mm or 10mm beads, the double strand method definitely works because those beads are bigger and probably need way more reinforcing. People use the double strand method just to ensure that the beads won't break and it is secure enough so that way your customer don't have to complain and double strand method is the same process as a single strand method